I'm back for another first impression review. This is one of CoverGirl's newer foundations called CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous. It's all day foundation hydrates skin while providing flawless coverage. So what I'm taking from the description is pretty much it's an all day wear foundation and it gives you a natural finish. I love the packaging because it has a pump. It contains your typical one fluid ounce. It retails for about $10 at the drugstore. And the shade I'm wearing today is in medium beige. I don't have too much conceal. I just want to even out my skin tone because I have redness in some areas and like around my eyes it's just a little darker. So let's see how well this conceals. Smells like almonds. So random. <laughs> so as you can tell, it looks super natural. It almost looks like I'm not even wearing foundation, which I don't mind this look because it still looks like my skin. Um, you know, I don't know if I noticed much of a luminosity difference between the two sides. One side definitely looks more even than the other but it is quite subtle and as you can tell it is a light to medium coverage and it did a pretty good job of concealing the redness around my nose okay, so it's been about 10 minutes the foundation has completely set and i did use a setting powder all over my face it looks super super natural and I straight up look luminous, so I'm digging it. It set pretty fast even before I use the setting powder and it feels, uh, you know, it feels like I'm not really wearing much makeup. So most important, we gotta do the flash photo test. So it's looking pretty good in flash. I think I just look radiant. All right, so today is gonna be a busy travel day, so this is a perfect time to review a foundation. And it is just about 11 in the morning. I'll check back in a few hours. It is almost two in the afternoon, and I'm happy to say the foundation still looks great. It still looks like I just applied it. <laughs> I'm still luminous, but I don't look or feel greasy or oily, and I'm usually pretty oily around the T-zone. I have nothing negative to say about this so far, so I'll check back in a few hours. It is almost 10 in the evening. I'm definitely starting to look shiny on my cheeks and a little bit on my T-zone. You can still see my blush and bronzer, which is a good sign. And everywhere else looks fine. The foundation did rub off a little bit around my nose. I really like this. I think it's the perfect foundation for me because it's not full coverage. It gives your skin a very natural finish, but still you get that glow. And it lasted all this time. So I am impressed, and especially for the price point, I think I found my new everyday foundation. And cons, you know, I really can't think of any Cons, I think it's a great foundation. Unless you're looking for something that's more medium or full coverage, this is not it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!